Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi Francis, and I'm taking you through chemistry, form 2, and uh, under the topic uh, structure of an atom, where basically we look at uh, the chemical formula. So, what are the goals, or what is the goal of this lesson? Please pay attention until the lesson is over. So, what are the goal of this? What are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to write a balanced chemical equation. That is, you'll be able to come up with a balanced chemical equation. For so, so it is important for us to understand uh, the products of these chemical reactions because they are very, very important for us to understand uh, some of the uh, important or uh, importance of having these reactions. So one, we have uh, window prints which are used for construction. We have drugs which have been used to treat or to mitigate diseases. We also have cooking oil. Uh, these are some of the products as well as, as detergents that are as a result of chemical reactions which take place uh, throughout. And these are useful in day-to-day -day life activities. Remember even cooking. Those are uh, chemical reactions that normally take place there for us not to eat raw food. So, what is a chemical reaction? It's a process in which one or more substances, basically we refer to them as reactants, are converted to one or more different substances, which we refer to as the product. So, in essence, uh, this enables products uh, to be formed from reactants. So, we need to summarize it using the following. Reactants giving us products. And the substances which are involved in a chemical reaction are either elements or compounds. Are we together? Very good. Elements or compounds. So, examples of chemical reactions include, we may have burning a metal in oxygen. And basically that is what we refer to as oxidation. Addition of oxygen to an element. We also have neutralization reaction, a reaction that involves acid and base, giving us salt and water. We also have uh, what we can refer to as action of acid on a metal. An acid reacts with the metal, giving us, so, uh, that is a salt and hydrogen gas. We need to have this product. We also have action of acid on a carbonate, which gives us salt, water, and carbon-4 oxide. So, what are the steps that we should follow when lighting chemical or a balanced chemical reaction? One, reactants and products should be known. That is, they must be known. Uh, we should light a balanced equation, word equation first for the reaction that is taking place. And then we represent the reactants and products using correct chemical formula. And for us to have a balanced or an equation, uh, which is uh, up to standard, we should show the state symbols for the reactants and products. That is, uh, they solid, liquid, or gas. But in essence, we also talk about aqueous, which is not a state of matter per se, but it indicates that it exists in a ionic state. Uh, it is in liquid state, but the components are in ionic state. And lastly, we ensure that the number of atoms and products are equal both to the reactant side and product side. That gives us a balanced equation. If they are not, then we should not, uh, we should balance. So example one, light a balanced chemical equation for the following uh, chemical reaction. Action of hydrochloric acid on zinc metal. We should know the product there. That is, uh, a, a, an acid reacts with the metal to give us salt and water. So remember the steps. The step number one, we should light a word equation. So we have hydrochloric acid with zinc. This gives us zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. Put this in mind, we do not use an equal sign because there will never come a time when reactants are equivalent to products. So from there, we write correct chemical formula of the reactants and product. So, hydrochloric acid, HCl, zinc metal, whose symbol is Zn, and this gives us zinc chloride with the formula and hydrogen gas, H2. Then, 
state symbol step number three hcl is aqueous remember what we have said about that it is in liquid state but we don't like l to show liquid we light aq aqueous to show that it exists in ionic state zinc is a metal which is solid and it gives us zinc chloride which is aqueous it's a soluble chloride and hydrogen is a gas therefore we have h uh, then the last step for this to be a balanced chemical reaction we should balance that is we should look at the number of atoms in the reactant side and product side of each element whether they are equal for instance hydrogen hcl one atom uh, here we have two because hydrogen exists as a molecule h2 and therefore there is need for us to add these two to balance the entire equation. Example number two, uh, zinc carbonate and hydrochloric acid. What are the products? You realize that the word equation for this equation is zinc carbonate, zinc carbonate sorry, plus hydrochloric acid. This gives us zinc chloride plus water plus carbon four oxide. Uh, from there, we should represent or write the correct chemical formula. That is, we have zinc carbonate plus HCl giving, uh, giving us zinc chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. Then, ensure that the state symbols are well indicated. Zinc carbonate uh, is a solid, uh, giving us HCl aqueous, zinc chloride aqueous, hydrochloric, uh, that is water, sorry is a liquid and carbon dioxide is a gas so we ensure that the equation is balanced by counting the number of atoms of each element from the reactant side to the product side whether it's equal for instance zinc is one on the reactant side on this side it is one carbon is one on this other side carbon is one uh, oxygen we have three atoms on the reactant side uh, this is one plus these two oxygen atoms on the product side that giving us three hydrogen we have uh, two we have added these two to make them two which balances with the two in water molecule giving us two and since we have two chloride ions on the reactant side we have two chloride ions uh, which are balanced from the valency of zinc and that gives us a balanced chemical equation so did we get to understand the concept of this lesson let's try to answer the following question light a balanced chemical reaction for the reaction between a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid magnesium carbonate and hydrochloric acid and lastly burning copper metal in air what are the products you can defer this uh, concept in chemistry a secondary chemistry students book 2 or Patel and most importantly send us an SMS or visit our YouTube or Facebook page at Erimu TV or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. Your Twitter once again is Mr. Mongi Francis and stay tuned to lessons that follow. Thank you.